Welcome to Crisp Facts. Deep in the bowels of an icy mountain, on an island above the Arctic Circle, between Norway and the North Pole, lies a resource of vital importance for the future of humankind. It's not coal, oil or precious minerals, but seeds. Here's everything you need to know about this doomsday vault. If you are not subscribed to Crisp Facts, please subscribe, as we are coming every day with interesting facts. In 1996, after many negotiations, 150 countries adopted the first global plan of action for conserving and using crop diversity. The Svalbard Vault was born out of that initiative. American agriculturalist Kerry Fowler, the man who frequently supervised the negotiations, was instrumental in its creation. The idea of a gene bank to hold a collection of food crops didn't originate with the Svalbard Seed Vault. There are over 1,750 such facilities all over the world but the Norway Vault is both the largest and the safest. During a ceremony in June, 2006, the Prime Ministers of Norway, Sweden, Finland, Iceland and Denmark laid the first stone. The building cost was entirely supported by the Norwegian government and amounted to roughly $9 million. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault was officially opened in February 2008 and received its first seeds in January of that same year. The Global Seed Vault, called the Doomsday Vault, is the collection of seeds stash preserved from any of man-made disasters or global catastrophes. Samples from India, Pakistan, Syria and Mexico have been preserved here. Svalbard was chosen as the very safe place because of its remoteness. It's far from the places on Earth where wars and terrorism are happening, everything you might be afraid of elsewhere. It's in a safe place, said the real estate that oversees the day-to-day -day operations of the vault. The entrance leads to a small tunnel-like room, filled with a loud whirring noise of electricity and cooling systems, required to keep the temperature within the vault consistent. Through one door is a wide concrete tunnel, illuminated by a strip lighting leading 430 feet down into the mountain. At the end of this corridor, is a chamber, an added layer of security, to protect the vaults containing the seeds. There are three vaults leading off, from the chamber, but only one is currently in use, and its door is covered in a thick layer of ice, hinting at the sub-zero temperatures inside. In here, the seeds are stored in vacuum-packed silver packets, and test tubes in large boxes, that are neatly stacked on floor-to-ceiling shelves. They have very little monetary value, but the boxes potentially hold the keys to the future of global food security. The seeds lying in the, deep freeze of the vault, include wild and old varieties, many of which, are not in general use anymore. And many don't exist, outside of the seed collections they came from. But the genetic diversity contained in the vault, could provide the DNA traits, needed to develop new strains, for whatever challenges the world, or a particular region will face in the future. One of the 200,000 varieties of rice, within the vault could have the trait needed to adapt rice, to higher temperatures. This is particularly important, with the challenges of climate change. Not too many think about, crop diversity as being so fundamentally important, but it is. It is almost as important as, water and air, says Aga, executive director of the Crop Trust. Hope you liked the video, please subscribe to Crisp Facts to stay updated with latest information around the world.